Yeah, let's talk about that Women's March on DC. Yeah, let's talk about it. 2017 already started weird as hell, and I never really thought it would come to this, but here I am, someone who's been called a sexist chauvinist pig a million times on the internet, defending Women's March because Tommy Lauren thinks it's stupid that the march happened, and then 10 million people watched her spew this hot garbage. The whole idea started the day after the fair and free election of President Donald Trump. Wait, was it a fair and free election? Because Donald doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> Fake news. Let's move on, though. See, some, the snowflakes, were so taken aback by the result, they felt they must do something. Something constructive? No, not really. Well, this is a rather ironic statement coming from a person who's built an entire career out of complaining about other people complaining. You know what is constructive? When an athlete takes a stand on a national platform by kneeling to rightfully protest what he believes in. When people from all around the nation, nay, all around the world, get together to tell Donald Trump, we're here and we're ready. Their first choice? Accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars from Middle Eastern nations who not only oppress women and gays, but human rights as a whole. Yeah, women's rights are human rights. Could someone remind Mrs. Clinton before her next six-figure paid speech to the Saudis? Wait, so are you telling me that Donald Trump has zero ties to Saudi Arabia? Wait a minute, so Donald Trump didn't register eight companies in Saudi Arabia during his campaign? You're telling me Donald Trump didn't say this? Well, I would want to help Saudi Arabia. I would want to protect Saudi Arabia, but... Fake news! And I'd like to take this moment to mention that I don't hate you, Tommy Lauren. As a matter of fact, I get where you're coming from. You were either raised by a family of wolves in a Spartan household and simply are incapable of seeing the other side's perspective, or you're an opportunist conservative mouthpiece who carefully directs fake outrage at things you know will get you notoriety. Either way, I actually think you're kinda cute. And as a bonus, I'm a dirty Muslim and I know that it piss off daddy real good. DM me at Hassan D. Piker on my Instagram. Let's make it happen. Moving on! Yeah, these marchers are pretty freaking selective on just who fits their mold of empowerment. But it's not just the marchers, it's the feminist movement and really the collective left who preach tolerance and understanding, but only for those people and issues they believe in. First of all, this is entirely incorrect. This march was a mobilization of Americans of all shapes, colors, genders, and sizes against what we perceive as a possible authoritarian pro-corporate administration eager to curb reproductive rights that will put the interests of corporate bottom lines over its citizens' needs. Spearheaded by an asshat who bragged about grabbing pussies and literally lied about every single thing. And to be honest, Tommy, you would know that if you actually went outside and maybe attended one of the marches instead of sitting around and shitting on it from your expensive set. If you had a hard time explaining the results of the election to your daughters, that's a parenting problem, not a Trump problem. Wait a minute, are you, are you telling me that you'd be able to explain to a 12-year-old girl why someone who bragged about grabbing a woman's pussy or called them fat cows is now president? Also, is that really good parenting? Also, do you really believe that that's the only issue that moms have with Trump? Do you think they're just out there going, fuck, parenting is just going to be so difficult now. Damn you, Trump. Is this even what you really believe in? Are you really offended by this march at all, or are you just trying to channel what Glenn Beck would say? Geez, I would hope you'd encourage your daughters to have a thick skin, a good grasp on reality, rather than a victimhood mentality and a snowflake exterior. Be a Democrat, that's fine, but don't stand there with your signs and your march and pretend you speak for women because you don't. This is sad. It's sad because not only are you missing the point of the march entirely, you've also given up on the changes we want to make in this world. It's a man's world, baby. Grow up with some thick skin. If they slap your ass, just take it. At least no one will call you a snowflake. Is that what you're saying? Tommy. Your entire existence on this planet would be invalidated if there wasn't a new pseudo-racist conservative talking point to spoon feed to the MAGA crowd who fantasize about you having to bind them up with Trump ties and spank them. There is one thing you forgot in your hyper-partisan rant, Tommy. Those protesters were marching for your rights too. So by bad-mouthing them, you may be cozying up to the Trump crowd, but you're also encouraging policies that will take away your freedoms and limit your options along with millions of other women. And you know what? What? If you get yourself into trouble and need medical care, I'm willing to bet no one in a MAGA hat is gonna help you. But you know who will? Planned fucking parenthood. Sisterhood is powerful, Tommy. Get on the right side of these issues and join the resistance. You have nothing to lose but your chains of alt-right fanatics that could never really love you the way I do, Tommy. I'm Asan Piker, and this is The Breakdown.